So before I make breakfast, even though I'm extremely hungry, I just wanted to give you guys some updated news because I know some of you follow me on Instagram. You know that I've been in the process of applying for a new visa to be able to stay in the UK for longer. So I'm a Canadian who lives in the UK. I moved here to live with my boyfriend who is from here and moving to a new country is not straightforward. It's usually pretty complicated. I'm treated like an immigrant just like anyone else. If you don't know what a visa is, it's a permit that allows you to settle and work in another country and it's issued to you by that country. The application process was literally one of the most intense and time consuming things that I have ever done. So it's my final visa appointment day. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on. So previously I posted saying that I submitted my application. So then after that, there's a biometrics appointment where I give my fingerprints my photo taken and I submit all of my documentation. So here is all of my documents. This is basically my entire life for the last two years, like everything. It's pretty crazy how much we need to provide. This is just my stuff. And guys, like I'm not even an organized person and look at what I did. I'm actually so proud of myself. This is my cumulative efforts of work, actually Becky's as well over the last like several months. I have to provide all of my tax information, like my entire business, letters from relatives confirming that we're in an actual relationship, business bank statements, tax calculations. We are both living at the same address, cover letters, evidence of common travel, because we've traveled together a lot over the last few years, and photos and messages that we sent, everything. You can see we've got lots of pics. This is all just my stuff and then kind of stuff for both of us. We also have another for Ben. This is his stack right here. This plus thousands of pounds equals an application for a visa. We were walking to your appointment, you bought all of our paperwork. How heavy is that? Can you buy stuff curls with it? No, I'm too heavy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. I am literally so relieved that I was granted my visa. Yay! Anyway, I can talk more about that in another video if you guys are interested. But the important thing is I'm still here. I haven't been deported, so I can move on with my life. And another thing is about a week before I went into my final visa application where I have to hand in all of my documents, I got extremely, extremely ill with a kidney infection. Essentially, if you get a kidney infection, you can get sepsis, which is an infection that goes through the blood and if not treated like immediately, it can become fatal. So yeah, I was pretty much bedridden for days. It was really not a good time. Um, I didn't mention any of this on my Instagram because there's too much going on at the time, like with my visa application and I just didn't feel like, I didn't wanna make a big deal about it. Um, but yeah, around that time, Ben was supposed to go to Shanghai for some research and have some meetings and stuff. And he ended up canceling that because I was literally that sick that he didn't wanna leave me in that state. Basically I had a urine infection, but I would get them all the time when I had my breast implants. I was just really ill, my immune system was down. It was a side effect of having them for me. But since I was so used to having urine infections, I just ignored it. And I guess in about 20% of cases, if you leave a urine infection untreated, it can spread up to your kidneys. So from my experience, if I've learned anything, if I get a urine infection to go to the doctor right away and to get treated, and I would recommend you guys do the same if it ever happens to you, cause it's just so not worth it. It was really scary. Don't try to clear it up on your own with cranberry juice. Go to the doctor, that's my advice. But anyway, I am healthy now. I've survived another day to live in the UK with my shiny new visa. So I'm here with another video. So today I wanted to do a what I eat in a day video, 
but since it's that time of year that a bunch of us go back to school to university or college or for those of us who work you want to get more organized and intentional with eating and prepping our meals so i wanted to make this video more practical and provide you with meal ideas that are healthy but wholesome and filling quick and easy or can be prepped ahead of time and taken into work or school and that can be eaten cold i have learned that i do not like bland food and i don't really enjoy the typical meal prep type foods i also personally don't like eating food that has been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days i know meal prepping in advance works for a lot of people so if that's something that you like doing then you should definitely keep on doing it. But what I prefer to do is to cook and prepare myself a meal for lunch or for dinner and then to make enough for like two to three people and then keep the leftovers and then have that in the following days. That way I feel like I'm eating food that's a bit more fresh and I can kind of cook as I go so that I don't have the daunting task of, okay, Sunday's coming up, I'm gonna have to meal prep for a few hours. That being said, I'm excited to inform you guys that today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You guys have heard me talk about HelloFresh before. I've done videos with them in the past. They're a meal kit delivery service. I've gotten so many good cooking ideas from them. They've made me realize that cooking like very flavorful, seemingly complex meals at home is actually super doable and not as complicated as you would think. Anyways, more on that later. Let's talk about the first recipe. So the first recipe that I'm going to show you guys is my breakfast. This is a blueberry muffin breakfast smoothie and it's so delicious and deceptively very filling. This is my favorite super quick on the go breakfast because it can actually be qualified as a complete meal. It's got fruit, tons of fiber, it's got enough carbs, healthy fats, and protein. It fills me up for hours and it's so, so good. And as a smoothie, it's quick to make, it's portable, so it's perfect for rushed mornings. So if you wanted to be extra quick in the morning, you could stop here, put the lid on, and then put this entire thing in the freezer. It's probably only going to shave off a couple of minutes in the morning, but sometimes that little bit of time makes a big difference. But yeah, you would just kind of take it out of the freezer, add the almond butter, and then the plant milk, blend it, and then add your protein powder. this in a video before but I like to blend everything together and then add the protein powder as the last ingredient and that just avoids that like really foamy consistency. the taste test. That's so good. You actually need to try some. It tastes like a cinnamon blueberry pancake or a cinnamon blueberry muffin. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we have to deal with when we're filming. Oh, Bill. Get down. Down. Good boy. <laughs> mm. That's really good. All right, so we just got back from the gym. It's lunchtime now, and we're about to make ourselves some pulled chicken burgers. And this is the meal that's from HelloFresh. Here's the recipe card. Don't they look so good? So your HelloFresh meals come pre-measured, so you get exactly what you need, no more, no less. So this is everything in this bag. Okay, you guys. Potatoes, carrot, barbecue sauce, vinegar. Mm. And you get recipe cards like these with all of the directions on the back. So it's super easy to follow. They list everything in order. I don't know what it means, but there's a 
smile upon your face And I see something shimmering in your eyes And they say if you want to glimpse the future you need space And you said you'll put down your morning gun Would you follow me to one? Inside me is a world of thunder, fear is unpostered. When you look at me this way, I find it hard to not give in. Okay, so I just realized you need a smaller pan because you need to submerge the chicken thighs. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. So the days became weeks and fell just like the night before. So here are the burgers all complete. Do you like my display? I enjoy making aesthetic food displays. So Becky and I are going to eat one of these now, but for the leftover chicken, I would just put it in its own container, put it in the fridge. Same with any of the leftover salad and the potatoes. And then I would just heat up the chicken and the potatoes separately. But the good thing about this meal is that you can actually eat it cold. So if you were going to bring it to lunch or to work the next day, 
then again, I would store the chicken separately, the salad separately, bring the dressing in a little container and the bun separate and then just assemble it all when you get to work and it should be really delicious. It would also be really good in a wrap, I feel like. I'm excited to try. Mm. It tastes like sweet chili barbecue, which is kind of a little bit different. Mm, I really like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a talk show or something. <laughs> no, you're not. Like, no. So yeah, this is a nice healthy meal. This is definitely something that I would have pretty often. Um, obviously it's meat, so if you're vegan, you can always substitute the chicken for jackfruit. I think this would also taste really good with chickpeas. I personally opted for the classic box from HelloFresh, but they do also offer vegetarian boxes as well as calorie smart ones. These ones will try to hit under a certain number of calories per meal, and they do offer boxes specific for families. You can select the number of people that you want to feed. I went for two. You can select the number of recipes per week. The other really cool thing that they do, if we go to my UK account, because obviously I live in the UK, you can see here the meals that I chose for this upcoming week. You can opt to skip a week whenever you want so you don't accidentally get a delivery if you're not going to be in. I find this super useful just in case you know you're going to be eating a lot that week or if you're traveling. I genuinely love HelloFresh and I honestly can't wait to try more recipes. Aside from just making my life so much more convenient and saving me from like thinking about what I want to eat and like buying groceries and stuff, it also just really inspires me and makes me learn how to cook. It's a good way to teach you cooking techniques and ideas, such as for the pulled chicken burgers that I just made. I would have never thought to add the chilies in and really made such a big difference. Genuinely guys, I do recommend checking out HelloFresh and if you wanted to, I do have a discount code for you for any of my US viewers. So you can get started with eight free meals and that's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh if you go to hellofresh.com and enter my promo code Robin Gallant. 80. So yeah, that should save you a few dollars up front. But following that, HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per servings. So if you think about it, it's really not that expensive and you're getting the exact amount of ingredients you need to make a healthy, wholesome meal at home. In terms of health, making your food at home makes all of the difference. And also, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to overbuy food or not be able to kind of ensure that I have all of the right ingredients that are fresh at the right time. So for me personally, it does save waste to get my food this way. I know it's not the perfect environmental solution, but I found that it does work for me. Obviously, what you do with your food is up to you guys. But yeah, on to the rest of the video. All right, guys, so it's several hours later now. It's dinner time. We're getting really hungry. And I really want to make this dish that I've been making recently. I love red curry and I always get it whenever I go to a Thai restaurant, but it tends to be like super oily because of the full fat coconut milk, but I just love the flavor of it. So I really wanted to make something at home. It's a lot lighter, so it's not as high in fat, so it's much more healthier. I add a ton of vegetables and I'm able to eat it hot, but it also tastes really good the next day cold. I discovered this by accident. So I put it in the fridge the next day and then I was like super hungry and I just couldn't be bothered to put it in the microwave so I was eating it and I just didn't stop eating it because it was so good cold it kind of tastes like an Asian style salad so yeah let's get started so I'd usually make this with prawns but I wanted to provide another option vegan or if you're a student because I know prawns can be really expensive like I never used to buy them unless I could get them in bulk so I decided I'm gonna fry up some tofu to put in it as well I already have my tofu pressed if you don't press your tofu then it's definitely worth a try it just gets rid of all of the water and makes the tofu a lot drier so it can absorb any of the flavors and it just makes it fry a lot nicer I'm gonna fry up the tofu first and put it to one side so that we can add it at the end Close to curtain. 
So I made a bit extra this time because I wanted to make enough for me and for Becky and then also for me tomorrow. So usually I'd make t around two servings, but this time I made like three and a bit. I'm just gonna put the rest in a container. Not for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, final taste test of the day. I'm really excited. But I'm not gonna lie, I did steal a little bit of the noodles along the way. I think I perfected the recipe this time. That is so good. I love red curry. I love just Thai food in general. And I feel like I did a pretty good job with this. Delicious. Hey guys, it's the next day. I just got back from the gym, which is why I'm looking a little bit disheveled. I just wanted to show you guys that they work really, really well for leftovers as a cold salad. And all of the flavors have infused now. Mm, yum. It tastes like it's supposed to be cold, honestly, like a Thai style salad. It's really good. So the second and third meals do contain meat and I am aware that some of you guys are vegan or if you're a student, meat can honestly be like really expensive. So I wanted to give you guys some ideas for substitutions. For the pulled chicken meal, you could substitute the chicken for jackfruit. I've seen a lot of vegans make pulled barbecue jackfruit. It looks really, really good. I haven't tried it myself, but I have seen jackfruit pop up a lot more in the supermarkets. So I found some in the vegan section and I think you can also get it canned. But for a more accessible option, I think that chickpeas would work as well. I just feel like barbecue chickpeas would be really delicious. And I think I mentioned this yesterday, but if you wanted to make the Thai noodles, then just do tofu. It's really, really good with the tofu. Here, a pack of tofu is around two pound, and one pack will last me like two to three meals. Obviously, a pack of meat can be a lot more than that. Also, I added a bunch of extras that aren't super necessary. The most important thing is the red curry paste and then the reduced fat coconut milk. I don't like to use the full fat canned coconut milk because it's just too fatty, especially for something that I would eat often. And things like the fresh garlic, ginger, the basil, and the red chilies aren't extremely necessary. So you can kind of just use what you have and it should still turn out really good. But yeah, I hope you guys liked these meal ideas. Honestly, I just get so bored with food. I need to have a lot of variety in order to enjoy food. So this is what I like to do. I just wanted to show you guys actual realistic things that I would eat. I like to put in a little bit more effort to make the food taste really good. Otherwise, as I said, I just get bored. I like to only cook once a day maximum. So obviously I showed you the two meals that take more prep time, but I would make these meals at dinner time and then like I said, eat them leftovers for the next two to three days for lunch so that I don't have to spend a lot of time cooking at lunch time. So yeah, let me know if you liked these recipe ideas and let me know what you think of this style of video. If you like the full recipes meal ideas format or if you would rather see more of the vlog style what I eat in a day, I am definitely going to do some more what I eat in a day vlogs coming up. But that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I've been having these for a snack recently, little baby cookies. Mmm, yum. I feel like I'm turning more English by the day, but these with some tea in the afternoon. Mm. None for you.